Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you're looking for a trading minimalist by keeping it simple then you're on the right channel and you should subscribe. So today we are looking at Bitcoin and uh, in particular we are on the one hour time frame. What we can see from the most recent price action is that the, the, the pair Bitcoin dollar is kind of in an uptrend. It made an impulsive movement here, and then kind of sideways here, then another impulsive movement here, and then it stays within this uh, support line and this resistance level here. So it's kind of another uh, sideways movement and I'm expecting the uptrend to continue further from around this point on. So in particular we are using three indicators. So the breakout pivotal bars which is the one that is giving the color to the candles. So either green candles which means that we have a bullish candle red candles which means that we have bearish candles and blue candles which are indecision candles meaning that it could be interpreted either as a, a bullish or bearish candle so it could mean either trend continuation or trend reversal and usually you should pay a closer attention when you have this kind of candles not because they are key candles but you should really focus on those candles, on the price action around those candles in order to understand whether the trend will continue from there or will reverse. The second indicator that we are using is the sentiment index and this indicator will allow us to build the setup if we get one here as it looks like we might have. And then the third indicator is the levels and zones. The levels and zones is the one that is giving this uh, support and resistance lines along with these buy areas and uh, in green and sell areas in red. As you can see, the indicator played quite well with the most recent price action. You see here that it said, well, this is going to be a support and have a look at this situation. So, we had a previous uh, support here and then the support moved down here without any further indication that this was going a support i mean it was not tested at this point but uh, as the price moved uh, on its way forward then it went down and actually tested right this level so the level started here, but then it was tested here. So it's a very great indication well ahead of time where the support or resistance might be in the future, even not considering what happened in the past. So here we had um, a support and then we had kind of a resistance here. As you can see, it played quite well. I mean, it was broken to the upside, but just slightly. And in fact, you see that the price barely went above the buy area here, the buy zone here, but it, it always stayed within. And then it went back down and stayed back down. It tested again, but couldn't uh, go any higher. And then it finally, when this new support appeared, then it finally made its way through and went to let's say the next level so above here and then started moving sideways but as you can see still within our levels our resistance level our support level and just like i said before in this situation see what happened here so the support started here without any previous indication of it being a, a natural support and then what happens is that uh, after some times, after days in this case, it turns out to be an actual support. So it's a really, really powerful indicator. Maybe not for building a setup, but for the extra confirmation of the setup. There are circumstances where I use this indicator to build a setup just with this indicator and there will be videos in which I explain how I use this but the greatest contribute of this indicator is to give the extra confidence, the extra confirmation of uh, an opportunity that you are building. So in this case we are concentrating on this situation right here. 
So we have, uh, let me draw this for you. So we have an impulsive movement here. You see, it's very, very impulsive. And then we have a consolidation, which is the typical scenario that we are looking for when we are trading with the breakout pivotal bars and the sentiment index. So we have an impulse and we have a consolidation. Let's see if this is right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then what we also have done here in the sentiment index is that the sentiment is decreasing. The bullish sentiment is decreasing. So how should you interpret this situation? Well, it's not that there is divergence like you would say with an RSI. No, you should interpret like this. If you see here, we have the zero line, which is the, the point where the sentiment above is bullish, below it's bearish. And as you can see, the bullish sentiment has fewer and fewer room to go. So it is pushed to the downside. So what's going to happen quite soon is that either the sentiment turns bearish, so it goes down and the bearish sentiment increases to the downside. In such case, the, the consolidation, um, let's see, let me draw this. The consolidation would break to the downside. And in this case, I'm not interested in the setup. Maybe you could be interested in a reversal. I am not, I don't trade this kind of setup. I just, when I build the, this setup impulse consolidation, I'm just looking for trend continuation. So if it's uh, an upward movement, I'm looking for a breakup. If it's a downward movement, uh, like maybe this one here, I'm looking for a breakdown. The second uh, scenario that could happen, which is the one that we are looking for, is for the bullish sentiment to be pushed uh, more and more to the downside and then it finally pops. It pops to the upside and at the very same time that the, the sentiment, the bullish sentiment pops to the upside, we also have a breakup here in the price. Uh, um, we have a breakup of this consolidation. Moreover, and where, this is where the, the levels and zones comes in handy, moreover, in this particular scenario, we might have, we might have, it's not, it's not for granted, but I hope to have a breakup which goes above this resistance. So if we have a breakup which goes above this resistance, then it's a very great indicator that this is a great setup because not only we have the price action uh, breaking up and hopefully in a green candle, so the breakout pivotal bars would signal that uh, the breakup is valid, but also we would have a set the sentiment index popping to the upside and then we would also have the price to move above the, this resistance, so this resistance would turn into a support. This is the ideal scenario. It doesn't always happen, but in most cases it happens. So this is what I'm looking for right now. Let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, so I'm into the trade. Uh, sorry for uh, being a bit too late, but I'm into the trade. The price uh, made exactly what we were expecting. It happens very frequently, so it's not uh, something to be surprised. What I did was just to track the consolidation because previously the consolidation was more like this. And then we had a candle which uh, tried to, to make its way beyond the consolidation and beyond the resistance, but it couldn't make it. So it closed within the previous consolidation. So I had to move the trend line of the consolidation up. And also at the bottom, it turned out to be a kind of a channel slightly to the upside. Uh, same applies with the sentiment index. I had to move it a little bit higher because previously it was done here but uh, as you can see when the sentiment index uh, broke uh, we ha we didn't have a, a breakup here 
so I just move it uh, to track the consolidation and what happened now is that uh, we had a breakup we also had the breakup in the sentiment index and we also had a break above the, the previous resistance so that resistance now turned into a support so regarding the the stop loss and the target well for the target as usual i set it to be uh, of the same length of the previous impulse so i just as you can see i just took this impulse here and projected it to the upside so this is the target and regarding the stop loss uh, technically it should be below the consolidation the lowest point of the consolidation but in most cases it never comes back down all the way into the consolidation so I typically like to, to place it uh, maybe halfway, halfway into the consolidation or just below the breakup candle. So as you can see the breakup candle is here, I just place it a bit below. This is my typical setup. Of course this is mine, yours could be very different, so be sure to test the indicators, test your setup, refine it with time and adapt it to your overall trading strategy to your overall risk attitude so that you can maximize your profit what works for me it might not work for you and the same applies on opposite so trading is always something personal and uh, when you define a strategy you should stick to your strategy to your rules so the the trade is now open and let's see how it plays out we are now a few days into the trade and as you can see a new resistance formed up here but i like to point out what what happened here as you can see here the price went straight back down to the to retest the previous uh, support level and guys do you see how important it is to have a stop loss a generous stop loss because it will always always protect you from losing a trade i mean consider if you saw this impulsive movement you got into the excitement of say whoa this this pair is moving up uh, with an impulse so i'll keep the stop loss very close to my entry level and what would have happened is that you would end up with a loss right now we are in profit because let me let me uh, extend this we are in a small profit i don't know where the price is going i'm expecting it to to move to the upside quite impulsively due to the, this whole price action but uh, of course i cannot know where the market uh, wants to go i'm expecting it to to go above this uh, resistance why well first of all for the price action as you can see it's forming a nice uh, consolidation small consolidation here and this is typically a bullish pattern so it should move to the upside and uh, the same applies for the sentiment index do you see same reasoning that we made before the bullish sentiment is now compressed is uh, the pressure the bullish pressure is improving so it, it should pop to the upside anytime soon because i mean there is no much room to go here if it wants to be bullish if instead it turns to be a bearish movement then we will take this loss and that's it so let's see how it goes okay so this pair clearly wants to move higher uh, what happened here is that the candle went straight back down into the stop loss uh, level into the stop loss area but uh, then it closed well above the previous resistance line so um, this clearly shows that the price wants to go higher and it is also supported by the sentiment index so i'm expecting the price to continue higher and for this reason 
what I did in my trading account is that I moved the target to be a bit higher in order for it to be a, a, a risk reward of three. So uh, what I did was to, to move it to, let me see. I move it here so that the, my risk reward is three. This is my new target level. And uh, of course, uh, um, this is pretty speculative, so you should not do if you're not confident in doing it. What I did to balance this risk was to move my stop loss to break even, so that in the worst case scenario, I will not lose any money. Why did I do it right now and not before? Well, before, as you can see, the price was barely into the, the, let's call it the target area. So it was pretty close to my entry level, so I couldn't make it. But right now that it, it went past the, the resistance and now this level is acting as a support and all the most recent price action right here, which is pretty bullish, I decided to move the stop loss to break even and then extend a little bit the target to the upside, even considering the fact that on a macro point of view, we are in an uptrend and we are also in an impulsive movement. So it should move quite fast to the upside. Okay, so the trade is now over. It's closed and we reached the target with a 3x return. Actually, the price went straight up all the way to, I mean, it, it's crazy. This movement is crazy, but uh, it went all the way to almost uh, 4,800 and then closed a little bit lower, well past our target. Well, can we predict this kind of movements? Not always. In this case, as I said before, I was expecting it to move impulsively to the upside and it did. And uh, that's why I moved the target a bit higher so that I could uh, take advantage of this kind of uh, uh, situation that was building. But of course, uh, with this kind of price action, you do not have all the elements to predict uh, such a movement. There are situations, uh, rare situations, but there are situations in which you can predict this kind of uh, very, very extended impulsive movements within one candle or two candles, but this was not the case. So overall, I'm happy that uh, we are out of the trade with a 3x uh, return. It is even higher than uh, what I was expecting uh, when I first uh, started the trade. So I'm super happy, even though it's a pretty average return. But uh, with a 3x return, it means that right now we can still lose the next three trades straight. One, two, three trades, losing trades and still be profitable which is uh, which is phenomenal because when you have this kind of confidence and this kind of returns it means that in the long run you are always going to be profitable and your trading account will build over time so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like it and subscribe if you didn't already if you have any comment feel free to leave it below and I'll see you guys in the next video.